Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with part five in my $10 and under Dollar Tree DIY series. As I said in every video, we're gonna do a video between now, every week between now and Christmas with a seasonal um, decor craft sort of piece. Um, sometimes it's gonna be really easy like today's ones, other times it is a bit more complex, but it's always gonna be under $10 and 99% of the time the items will come from the Dollar Tree. There are some items in some of the crafts where I've had to go to like Lowe's or Target just for things like paint, but they're still under a dollar per item, so it still fits within the budget of shopping at a Dollar Tree. This week we're just gonna do a full, full floral um, vase centerpiece for our table. It's really simple. It has three uh, of the ingredients, supplies. You'll need a glass vase. This is just a cylindrical one. It's not too big. A piece of burlap ribbon I picked the orange for this one you could easily get us go with the standard burlap and then eight different pieces of full floral one two these are the little sort of cherries maple leaves uh, more cherries and I've got a sunflower in three different colors and then I have another one of the cherries or pomegranates I don't even know what they call these or cranberries they're something they're some kind of berry and another one of the maple leaves I have all together um, plus my vase and my burlap if you do want to spend a little bit more you could add something to attach to the outside of the vase another piece of like a floral stem or something but this is what we're going to go with it for this piece so let's get started now you are going to need a glue gun so we can attach the um, burlap to the vase it is easily removable at the end of it and it will just scratch off um, but it will help it keep on there while we're doing this project but that's the only other supply you'll need and um, the first thing we're going to do is um, attach our ribbon to our vase. There are different ways you could do it. You could cover the whole vase, two thirds of the vase. I'm probably gonna go up to about there just so you can see the very tops of the stems before the flowers come out the top. But let's get started um, with gluing this on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut my strips of ribbon. You could wrap it all the way around, but I find it's a bit messier that way. So I'm just cutting even strips that fit exactly around the bottom with just probably half an inch of overlap. So I'm gonna go um, two, two and two. So that's six in total. So I'm gonna cut six strips now. And now that my glue gun has heated up, I'm just gonna start gluing these up around my base. So this is one layer and I'm gonna do two just to cover it up a bit more. This is what it looks like with two layers on. Now that the vase is covered, our next step is just to arrange our flowers. That's just trial and error till you find a design that you like. So let's practice and see what we can come up with. So as you could see there, I think these are a little long, so I'm gonna cut off just a little bit of the stem before I pop them back in. So this is my uh, finished centerpiece. I'm gonna just fiddle with the leaves a bit just to get it to sit more how I want it. But that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna, as you can see, pull out some of the flowers and the leaves so that they're all sitting evenly and covering the whole vase. But you'd end up with a burlap covered vase with a bouquet. It looks great as a centerpiece or in a mantle. Now, if you wanted to spend more money, you could. I have leftover ribbon from a project. You could um, do a bow around the base if you wanted to do something else on the bottom you could um, glue some extra um, floral pieces so some pine cones or some twigs or something just or a leaf just down the center but that is the basic under ten dollar version you get a full vase of full flowers um, for your full table or for your sideboard and I think it looks pretty good and it was obviously super simple to make obviously um, not all the crafts are going to be this simple I've seen some of the other ones are a bit more time uh, intensive and well, harder than this, but I still think this is an easy way to um, decorate for fall. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share or comment below. If you've not yet done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you've got that bell icon clicked to so see notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.